MULN stock, Modern Automotive Inc. For the last trading session, the session of the 2nd of May 2022, it closed at $1.29, a loss of 2.27%, 4.31 million shares across the tape, which is also below average. So it is uh, just note, uh, note uh, what this uh, uh, level of volume is indicating, it's volume below average, and we'll get back to that. So the news is that um, the folks at Investor Place have picked up uh, what happened yesterday. You know, they're saying, um, why they asked why is Mullen Automotive stock in the spotlight today? That was yesterday, the 2nd of May. So the one down here says, uh, what happened with uh, Mullen stock? Mullen Automotive said it has, it has applied for an ATVM loan that will help it ramp up production of its uh, one EV cargo van program. It filed the application on the 29th of April 2022 and is awaiting approval from the US Department of Energy. Investors should know that uh, Volume 1 EV is a light commercial cargo van and the company says it will be one of the first in its category. Competitors currently include Ford, Ford's um, Transit Connect van and the Ram Pro Master City cargo van made by General Motors. So the 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 uh, the CEO of the company, yeah, Michael Mikri, said, "We are proud to announce the submission of their ATVM loan, loan application for the Modern One EV cargo van program." Okay, so uh, they went on to say why why it matters. The news of the loan application is the latest in a series of uh, positive positive de developments related to Modern Automotive. The company recently announced that it has begun construction on its highly anticipated battery plant. Additionally, Mullen stock jumped after the company announced that it has hired a former Tesla executive in a key leader leadership position. Uh, the recent developments uh, shown, and all the all the re recent developments show that Mullen Automotive is making some progress and moving in the right direction. Okay, so at least some um, influencers are uh, quite positive. Uh, you know. They are quite positive and they are you know speaking out for the stock you know you can see what they're saying here it's making some progress and moving in the direction okay, this helps uh, to inspire some uh, confidence amongst investors that being said um, modern automotive continues to be a fledgling electric uh, vehicle startup whose uh, share price continues to erode in the month of april that just ended modern stock declined 54 percent and made a broader market sell-off okay and they asked again what's next for modern automotive while Mullen, Mullen stock is rise, rose yesterday, even though it uh, eventually closed with a slight loss, the big picture related to the electric vehicle maker's shares remain green. As, uh, as such, investors should be careful and take time to evaluate the long-term outlook before taking a position. Okay, so uh, moving on, we can see what's been going on with the stock. Evidently, evidently, very, very bearish. You can see that very bearish, but of late, it seems to be at least... Uh, even though it's still declining, the lows are getting lower, but it is not uh, like it was, like it was as of the, as of early, as of mid-April, you can see that, even all the way back to early April, I believe, all the way back to end of, end of uh, March, you know, it's, it was declining steeply, but things are just gradually leveling off, even though it's, you know, it's, it's towards, um, towards a decline, you know, so, Moving on, we can see what's going on down here. Um, volume has also dropped off. You can see that. So we are now seeing that um, volumes are now below average. I think, um, given what's with, what, what this consolidation, this uh, average sideways movement, yes, we're seeing, and also a drop in volume, it is an indication that gradually, gradually, uh, the sell-off may be gradually coming to an end. When it's going to come to an end, we don't exactly know, but. A drop in volume, you know, gradually may or doesn't, you know, absolutely indicate uh, the end of a trend. But you know, it just gives you a hint that, uh, you know, they are not running out of steam. You know, so you can see what's going on here. The ten-day average is about sixty-four point two eight two million. The ninety-day moving average is about ninety-five point zero nine nine million. So, uh, moving stock appears to be in a strong bearish trend. Shares are below a declining two hundred-day moving average beneath. Uh, uh, sorry. Shares are, are below a declining 200 day moving average, and the MACD is beneath its uh, signal line. It's also lagging the SP 500. 
Mullen uh, stock is strongly bearish. The 14 period of the cash flow is below 20 the level which may now is call over. So this means that investors have been actively selling shares and driving the price lower. So yes, uh, they uh, they they the, the bulk obviously it's in a it's in a bearish trend. So yes, the, the trend right now is to sell off. But at the same time, some are gradually quietly picking up positions. And you believe it, it may also include it may also include very big, very big investment houses. It may it may definitely include some of them. This is the time they just gradually buy, buy, buy. Because right now the the overarching trend is a bearish one. So when they pick up trends, when they pick up positions, you wouldn't know. You know? So the volume for that last trading session was heavier than usual, okay? Trading for 1.791 million shares versus an average of 34.581 million shares per day. Okay, so the the average volume on a daily basis is uh, 34.581. So the volume for that uh, last trading session was more than that. But over the last 90 days, still below average. So um, the unbalanced volume indicator shows that uh, longer term share accumulation has given way to near term setting pressure by traders. Yeah, so this uh, unbalanced volume indicator is validating what the what we already know, you know, especially uh, what uh, the the uh, for momentum uh, the oscillator is uh, indicating. So we still we are still maintaining our price of three point three three point three dollars, which it uh, reached and closed at as of the twenty second of, of March twenty twenty two. So it's over a month since it got there. We're still maintaining that, you know. Um, it's. Uh, there's a good chance it's, it's definitely going to rebound to that sort of level again. Let's see whether we can get the short interest for um, MULN. So short interest is a 13.75, which is still, even though of late, you know, it doesn't. This doesn't look healthy. This doesn't look uh, promising, but it is, you know, still very much good. This is it provides a sufficient cushion, 13.75 percent. So. It's um, it seems to be okay. Has it just increased? It's actually increased by twenty percent. So it was actually worse than that. So um, let, let's see what um, um, either we can get it on uh, Fintel or something like that. Let's see whether we can get any figure here. Fintel is also indicating something close to that as well, 14.95. So let's see whether we can get anything from Otex. Let's see whether we can get any, any interesting data from Otex concerning Mullen. Okay, let's see. Utilization. Okay. It's one point three four percent. Okay, drop by thirteen point nine five. Cost of borrowing. Okay, so utilization is it one point three four percent. Okay, so interesting. So see what you make of um, MULN as we indicated earlier as indicated earlier on our target still remains at 3.33 okay and uh, thank you very much for watching this video